here we are going to learn how to create beautiful slides on our WordPress website using Slider Revolution plugin. If we can see on our screen that's a beautiful slider created with Slider Revolution plugin. Once we click on the next arrow, it gives some animation effect like this. So the slide has been changed over here. So in this tutorial, we are going to cover each and every step like how we can use Slider Revolution plugin on our WordPress website and how we can create such slides. If you haven't purchased the Slider Revolution yet, you can go to the link provided in the video description so that you can get some discount as well. The original price of Slider Revolution plugin is $25. But if you will follow the link provided in the video description, you can get some discount. Alright, so once you will buy the Slider Revolution plugin from Envato Market, then you can download the plugin in zip format. And you need to go to the dashboard. Here we have to go to the plugins and click on Add New. Now we have to upload the Slider Revolution zip file on our WordPress backend. Click on Browse. Here I have already downloaded the plugin. So I just need to find it out. Here it is. Install and activate this plugin. The plugin is activated successfully. Now at the bottom left hand side we can see there is a new tab slider revolution. Just click on it. Then you will see a screen something like this. Now first of all we have to create a new slider so click on this plus icon here we have to set up our slider so first option needs to be default slider in the second option slider title and short code you can give any name over here for example home page and in this box you have to provide the alias name you can give any name for example home third step select a slider type here we need to leave it as it is the standard slider now at the fourth step slide layout leave it as it is this is this part is very important here we have to specify the size of our slider i mean the width and height of our slides so here uh, i can give like 1920 pixels width this is best suited for uh, desktop or laptop views and here we can specify the height for example 500 you can see as soon as you specify the width and height the preview also updates over here now at the bottom we have to move and click on save settings it will take couple of seconds to save all these settings and redirect you to the next slide page so this will be the slide page now we have already set up our slider revolution settings here we have to import one by one each slide images and create our slider. So this is number one slide. Once this slide will be completed after that we will go to the next slide, the next slide and it will go in the same way. So first of all let me show you how we can create slide number one. It is auto selected. Here we can uh, at the bottom if you can see that's a blank slide over here. Now firstly go to this main background image click on it from here you can upload the image I have already uploaded one image remember one thing if you have specified the slider size 1920 by 500 then it would be better if you can use an image of the same dimension like if you can see this image it is also of 1920 by 500 so this image will not be cropped and will be visible properly onto your WordPress front end so here we can click on insert now we can see here there is no blank space either left or on right side it means this image will look proper on a wordpress front end so now firstly i'm just going to save it and i can show you how it appears on a front page okay so this slide is saved now let's go to the front page I'm just going to refresh this page. It is the front page of my website on which we are using slider revolution. So we can see here there is no slider. Now what I want to do, I just want to put slider over here just below these menus and this content. So how we can do that? Firstly I need to go to the edit page. This is basically an Avada theme based website. So here I'm using Fusion Builder. So at the bottom, 
here I can select a slider For example no slider here we can select slider revolution and here we can select home page okay now update and let's see how it appears on the front page of my website I'm just refreshing it so here we can see it looks beautiful over here complete full width there is no extra space on left or right side or at the top and the bottom it means the size is perfect as per my website now we need to add some text over here we need to add some buttons over here so let's uh, let's go back to the slider revolution backend and try to add those elements so I'm just going back over here now if we want to add text on this image then just hover on this add layer button here you can see text and HTML click on it now remove this caption text one with your text I'm just putting over here this is the first slide okay it's written over here now we need to format the text so here we can increase the font size you can use upper or down arrow of your keyboard in order to increase or decrease the font size like this way all right the same thing we need to do with the line height as well I'm just putting over here 71 we can drag and drop easily anywhere that's why I recommend slider revolution is the best plugin for WordPress because it provides thousands of compatibilities or customizability so that you do not need to face any trouble in creating beautiful slides okay now we need to change the font so just go over here sorry uh, font color here we can use yellow so you can see the color has been changed click on this tick all right now let's save this slide and we can refresh our front page once again so here we can see the text is appearing over here now if you want to add some animations in this text like how it should enter into the slider after how much seconds it should appear those all settings can be found yeah you are right at the back end of slider revolution so here we need to select it first and then you can see there's an animation tab click on it the current setting is you can see here it is just fade in so it quickly appears from here we can change the animation template so for example letters fly from left so now we can see the animation appears something like this if you want to increase or decrease the speed of the animation you can enter the speed over here it is in milliseconds uh, 1000 millisecond equals to one second so here you can change let's update it 1500 enter now we can see the speed of this animation effect is quite fast so in this way you can customize uh, the speed of animation or you can change the animation type as well now if you want to put an action button over here on this slide let me just drag it a little bit up okay now here I'm going to put an uh, a button over here that would be an action button so again you need to hover on add layer click on button okay now here you can uh, find a lot uh, lots of buttons available of different types also if you can scroll down it gives you these type of icon buttons as well so first of all we need to set up the color of these buttons like what would be the font color what would be the button background color so from here we can change the background color of our button so you can use this color picker okay let me make this color uh, sorry button color something like this color pink type click on yes that's good font color is fine border color if you want to add some border for example if you want to add a white border you can click over here and then tick but still you can see there is no border appearing of white color the reason is uh, let me select a different color to explain you in a better way like black border color tick okay again you can see there is no border color the reason is that we haven't specified the width of the border so here we have to specify one at least and click outside you can see the border appears now in the same way if you can uh, put three over here the border width increases 
So this is the way how we can uh, create the borders over the button. Anyways, uh, this is the hover state. Here you can also change the colors as per your need. Like when someone hover on this button, what should be the background color, what should be the text color or border color. So of course you need to try it by yourself. I'm sure you can easily do it. We just need to proceed. So here we can put the text over the button. Let me put over here. Go to bottom. All right. So now we have set up our button. Now it's time to select the proper design that should needs to be placed on this slide. So I'm just going to use this button style. Click on it. It will appear over here. You just need to drag and drop. Okay. Now if you want to increase the font size of this button, the all you need to do just keep this uh, button selected. Go to style and from here increase the font size like this. And for increasing the height, you can increase this height. So this is quite easy to create buttons over here. Now if you want to uh, put some link on this button click, it's very easy. You can see there is an option actions. Click on it. Click on this plus sign. Now you need to select on what action you need to, uh, you want this button to perform any action. So either click or mouse enter or mouse leave. Leave it as it is clicked. Disable, you need to click on simple link. It means when someone click on this button, it will redirect to a simple link and you can specify the link URL over here. For example, I'm typing here like HTTPS www.google.com and here we can specify new window. All right. Now we need uh, we need to set up the timing of these two elements as well. Like first of all, this element will appear, then this button will appear. So uh, we need to specify the timing as well. So let's scroll down. Okay, so this is the timeline over here. We can first of all specify the timing of this text. So click on it. Once you will click, it will become in the red color. This is the starting uh, time of this entire slide. So here we can drag and drop like this. If you can see here, there is one second, two second, three seconds and so on. So it means once the slide will start from zero second, after one second, this element will start appearing. And this is the element text one. In the same way, we need to specify for button. So click on button. This section has been changed to red color. Just drag and drop. I just want to make this element uh, visible at two seconds like this okay now let's save this slide and we can refresh our home page once again all right so we can see here the slide background appeared now that's a text and after that button appear over here once we click on it it is giving firefox prevented the site from opening a pop-up window just leave it as it is so this is quite very easy to create slides using the slider revolution plugin. Now our second task is that we need to add arrow buttons over here and we have to create slide number two. It is also very easy. Let's go back to the slider revolution backend. Now there are two, uh, two ways to create slide number two. Already we have spent a lot of time to create the slide number one. So let me make your work very easy. You just need to hover on this slide number one and click on duplicate. So it will completely duplicate your slide number one in the slide number two. Now here you can directly edit this slide. So it will save a lot of your time. Okay, now we have we are on the slide number two. So from here we can change the background color. We need to upload a new image. For example, I'm using this one. Okay, so you can see this image is also of 1920 by 500 dimension. So I'm using the same uh, width and height image. Click on insert. Now this image will appear very shortly in this area. Okay, here we can see. Now we need to update this uh, text. So just double click on it. It will show you this option. Here we can update second slide. Okay, now here you can show uh, see there's a go to bottom button if you want to change the text you can double click on it 
it will give you this option so here we can see just like this so it's quite very easy to uh, you know create slides in slider revolution plugin now if you want to add an uh, a, a different image on this slide like uh, if you want to have an image over here how we can do that hover on add layer button again and you can see there's an image button click on it let's uh, add an image like this i'm just going to add my logo over here click on insert so firstly it will uh, appear in the original dimension so we can just resize it but uh, you know holding the corner dots like this okay just scroll all right so the logo appears over here we can simply drag and drop also i need to put some animation effect in it and also i will set some timing so firstly i'll go to the animation here i can do something like a smooth pop up one let's see how it appears okay that looks good let me increase the speed 3000 and it means 3 seconds sorry it will decrease the speed not increase I need to put it one second yeah that's fine okay that looks good now uh, here it will appear from the starting so I'm just going to drag and drop over here okay now it's all done we can simply save this slide and refresh our home page all right so here we can see that's the slide number one appearing over here okay so let's wait for the slide number two all right so now slide number two appearing over here now the problem is where are the navigation arrows there is no navigation arrow either on the left or on the right side so now our task is to put navigation arrow on these slides just go back to the slider revolution now here we have to go to the slider settings you can see here that's the slider settings click on it on the right hand side we can see navigation click on it here enable arrows all right the arrows are enabled now from here you can select the arrow style for example this guy saw this head is okay head is will appear something like this I'm just going to use something more better Zeus okay that look this looks good now let's save it and we can refresh our home page once again here we go so now you can see here there are navigation arrows can you see that on the left side on the right side just click on it and it will show the next slide so this is quite very very easy to use slider revolution plugin and you can use unlimited number of sliders over your website.